Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. I get asked all the time if this is my natural hair, like the curls and all, and yeah, it is. Um, so I want to show you exactly how I make it look decent. It looks a little funky right now because it's still drying, but... So the first step is to wash it with shampoo and conditioner. I don't wash my hair every day. In fact, I wash it when it needs washed. I used to do it every three days, but now I just wait till it needs washed. Um, I think like before this, I went probably a week without washing my hair just because like, first of all, I'm not going anywhere. I'm quarantined, but also like it's not, I wait until it gets oily and like a little gross. Not gross, but like dirty, you know? So when my hair is colored like this, um, I use a Pantene shampoo. It'll be up on the screen. Um, and I use that same like conditioner and shampoo set. That was the one thing that would work for my hair. Um, so a while ago, my hair would get used to shampoos after I used them for a certain amount of time and I would have to switch them because it would stop making my hair not oily. I finally found the Pantene one and ever since then I've had no problems. This one is also color protecting so I do find that it works for my hair pretty well. Um, it's just fading out right now because it's been a hot minute. And for when I am blonde, um, I use the Redken Color Blondage Purple Shampoo. I think I'll have it on the screen as well. It's a little more on the expensive side compared to the Pantene one, but it's definitely worth it because it keeps your hair very blonde, pretty, there's no brassiness, and that is what I used from the time that I highlighted my hair until... I made it colored. It's important to use a good shampoo and conditioner for your hair because that is what really affects your hair. Um, so I definitely recommend finding something that works for you, something that is good. Also when I shampoo my hair, the shampoo goes only on your scalp because that is where the oil comes from. Your ends and like you know all of this will get washed out or will get like washed as you wash out the shampoo. You don't need to put shampoo all over your hair. It's not necessarily good for it. The conditioner goes only on this part of your hair, not your scalp. So I go where my hair stops, or like where my scalp stops, and I do from here. Because I find when I put conditioner on my head, it gets oily. Plus, I don't even think you're supposed to put conditioner there. So, yeah, I only do conditioner on my ends. Step two is a leave-in conditioner. I use It's a 10. It is the best thing that has ever happened to my hair, okay? This stuff saved my hair when I was in third grade, and I mean... Saved. I'm going to tell you a little story. One time when I was in third grade, I went swimming over the summer and left my hair in a bun while I was swimming with my head underwater. So that already started a problem. Then I didn't go home and wash my hair and take the bun out and everything. I just left my hair in a bun and let it get all crunchy from the chlorine. Not a good idea. So then um, it became a giant knot and I had hair all the way down to my hips and we had to cut it off to here. No, it was more like here um, because they could not save it at the hairdressers. So this is the stuff that the hairdresser used in my hair and that is what saved me having this much hair. Otherwise, I would not have had any. You can find this at Target or Walmart or Ulta, just places like that that carry hair products. You'll most likely find it there. I use this right after I wash my hair, right after I get out of the shower. I spray my hair down, put it all over. I just let it soak in a little bit while my hair is like started sort of drying. Then I get dressed and then I go to the next step. Um, so as I mentioned, this is a leave-in conditioner, but it also does so many different things. It's called It's a 10 for a reason, so I'm going to read to you the stuff that's on the back. I had to take a picture because I didn't bring it out here with me. So it says it inhibits dry, damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, helps prevent split ends, inhibits hair breakage, 
creates silkiness, enhances natural body, flat iron spray, and thermal protection. So I think this stuff is pretty amazing. Step number three is to brush my hair. I only brush my hair when it's wet or if it's really tangly when it's dry and then I just throw it up in a bun because if I brush my hair when it's dry, it goes and if you have curly hair, you know this. Like you know you cannot brush your hair when it's dry. So the brush that I use so that I can brush my hair when it's wet is the wet brush. It is specifically made for brushing your hair when it's wet so that it doesn't damage it. Now, any brushing your hair, anything you do to your hair will damage it. Putting it up will damage it. It'll repair out. Brushing it will repair out. You know, it happens. But it helps your hair be less damaged because, you know, a long time ago, everybody's like, oh my god, don't brush your hair when it's wet. Oh my god, your hair, like, it'll be so bad. Ah. Um, now, I can only brush my hair when it's wet, so that is what I do. This brush was given to me in third grade by a friend's mom who is a hairdresser. Um, they gave it to me because they knew the struggles that I had, and ever since then, I have used the wet brush. I actually had the exact same brush from third grade up until like a couple years ago whenever the brush started falling apart, so I got a new wet brush, which is actually a lot cuter. Now, my hair gets super duper tangled because it is curly, and when I sleep, I like... I do some kind of kung fu in my sleep or something, like I'm like rolling around like crazy, I don't even know, but it gets so tangled, so um... It's really difficult to brush my hair. It takes me a lot of work. I have a really sensitive scalp, so whenever I brush my hair, I like to hold it like this and then brush and then go for the top and then hold it and brush. And that's just the way that I find works for me. If you don't have to do that, more power to you. I wish I didn't have to. I've gotten better, though. You will see in the clip that I'm not really holding it as much, but I still do. Mostly on this side is when I have to hold it because this is the side that gets the worst in tangle wise because this is the side I sleep on so I go section by section until my hair is done and then I go through all of it so like I'll start here do section and then I'll like go to the top and then I'll do the next part brush it and then I'll just work my way around and then I go through everything after all the big tangles are out just to make sure that everything's really out step four is super important this is the curl product this is what makes your hair look good. So with curly hair, it is important to use curl product. Curl product doesn't give you curls, but it defines your curls. So like using a curl product doesn't mean that you don't have curly hair, you're just using it to have curly hair. No, it means you have curly hair and you need it to be a little defined, a little tamed and calm. So it's very important and that is how I actually make my curls look decent because before they were crazy so this stuff actually like helps your curls look prettier it makes them shinier softer um i use this because without it my hair gets super like frizzy and it looks like untamed it just looks crazy yeah this definitely makes my hair look nicer and i really like it step five is to put a scrunchie in my hair if I'm going to bed. I usually wash my hair at night. I just didn't today for the purpose of this video. Um, when I wash my hair at night, I always sleep with it in a ponytail because I sleep so crazy that it gets super tangled. So I put it in a low ponytail so there's no crease and I put it in a super loose scrunchie that's like the elastic is so broken that it just is like this big now. Um, I always suggest, especially if you're sleeping with your hair in a ponytail, to use scrunchies because it helps creaseless and it helps not rip out all of your hair. I actually hate regular hair ties because every time I use them my hair gets twisted around them and then it rips it out but I've never had that issue with the scrunchie so I hope that this stuff worked for you and gave you some help and some tips on how to make your hair look better. It took me a really long time to get my hair to where it is now, so I hope with these tips you don't take as long as I did because I've definitely had quite the hair journey. If you try any of these tips, you can always send me a DM on Instagram. Um, you can let me know how it turned out and stuff and that would be super cool. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below because I post videos every Sunday and now I am posting every Wednesday on my vlog channel a guinea pig related video and I also post vlogs on there of course. So subscribe to that. It's also down below. It's linked in the description and yeah, it's always down there. Also all my social medias are down there. 
So check it out. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next week.